Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to another Collage With Me video. We're changing things up a bit this time around. I recently organized my journals and I found this slow stitch art journal that I haven't used in over a year. So I thought it'd be fun to bring it out and we can collage one of the pages. Let me talk a little bit about this journal. It's four inches by six inches and the majority of the fabric that was used to make the journal and what I used to collage in it was either dyed or marked by me. The exceptions are the spine and the substrate and there's some denim fabric as well. And as you can see some of the pages are just stitching without any collage. I only stitch on one side of the page, so when the adjoining page is done, then I stitch both of them together to make one complete page. Let me show you a little bit more, then we'll get to the page that we'll be working on, which is this page. It's kind of a bright green, but I think it'd be fun to use. So what we'll do next is, let me just go over the supplies. We don't have a lot that we're using this time around. Then we can start creating the collage. So here's our supplies. Let's go over the fabric first. These denim triangles are actually leftover pieces from a journal that I'm currently making. And I thought it would be fun to use these as our focal point. And I pulled out other fabric that coordinate nicely with the denim and also with the journal, which has more of this earthy, muted, muted excuse me, colors. And then embroidery floss that matches our fabric, sewing needles, pins. I brought out a glue stick just to have on hand because sometimes I can't secure the fabric pieces with a pin if the pieces are really small. Scissors, and that's it. So let's start collaging. Since the denim triangles will be the focal point of this collage, the other scraps of fabric will be sewn down first. I want the other fabric pieces to be in a simple pattern. I'm thinking that a vertical stripe would be good. So first thing, I'll cut down the fabric into stripes and then we'll play around with placement. And just a heads up, this section will be a mix of narration and music. And if I forget to talk through a step, I'll come back in and add some voiceover. So let's get started. I cut the fabric in similar width for now. Once we start playing around with the placement, I may cut down some of the pieces to make them thinner. My thought is to lay the fabric in a non-uniform vertical pattern to add some interest. I want some of the bright green fabric to show through as well. So let's try some of the different pattern ideas. This design or layout looks a little bit too busy, so that's not going to work. So let's try another one.
I think this layout of the stripes is a bit too dark. Even though you see the bright green showing through, I think the triangles to my eye look like they're being lost. So let's try one more. I like this pattern the best. There's a variation of line thickness. It's not too uniform looking or too dark that the denim triangles get lost. I'm going to pin the stripes pieces down first and then I'm going to come back in and just do a simple running stitch to secure the fabric and then we'll go on to the next step which is deciding on the layout for the triangles. I almost forgot to talk about thread. Even though I brought out all five of these different color options, I narrowed it down to just these two. It's a light rust and a dark olive. I'm thinking if I had more than just two colors, it'd make the stripes very busy and very distracting looking. So I think these two complement the stripe colors that we have and accent them nicely. So I'm gonna start sewing them in now. I haven't hand stitched in a while. I brought out a thimble. I think that's going to help me out when I'm sewing on these strips. So one more supply that's needed if you like using a thimble. And also wanted to show you not my thread. I'm going to leave these little tails. So I put the knot further up on the thread like that. And that will help, as you can see, add a little decorative touch.
as you can see, I'm not concerned with the uniformity in the stitches. I'm okay with the way they look. Now that the stripes are sewn down, let's figure out the placement of the triangles. As with the stripes, I'm not concerned about a uniform pattern. I'm more concerned about some interest and movement. So let's try some different layouts. I'm looking at this layout and to me and my eye four triangles look too busy it looks too cluttered so let's try it again with only three triangles i like this layout there's movement in the triangles and I definitely like the three triangles more than four. It looks more pleasing to my eye. It doesn't look as cluttered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew down the triangles using just a random running stitch. Then we'll take another look. Everything is sewn down. I'm just going to come back in and trim up some of these pieces and then we'll have one final review. Here's the final collage. Let's do a quick recap. Um, as you can see, I trimmed off some of the fabric that was hanging over the edge. There's still some hanging, 
past the page and I like that it gives it interest and I like it when some of the fabric is going to start to fray I think that'll look good as well I like that the stripes are not in a uniform pattern and I like that the triangles have a nice movement so that's always pleasing to the eye I'll come back at another time and sew this page to the previous page I didn't want to do that take the time to do that now I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It's, it was a bit challenging to film myself while hand stitching. So I hope you got the idea of how I, I put this collage together. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye now.